Here, Kay Murphy, coming off a phenomenal year, getting ready for another phenomenal year with your team on, on your back. Uh, talk about the excitement for cross-country season with you and your teammates. Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this is our first year. Um, last year was our first year going to NXN, so uh, I just really want to get the girls back to NXN this year. Talk to your coach about how you had to make that tough choice between Foot Locker and NXN. Right now you said NXN. So why did you choose that? Um, just because cross-country, it, it's way more of a team vibe than track. Track, it's very individual and you know, you each have to focus on your own events and um, I don't know, cross country is just like, you know, you're always in a group running with a pack. So I just think it's it's better for like the rest, the rest of your top six to get the opportunity to go all the way across the country and all have fun and compete than just to be your lone self with like just the South girls going. I feel like it's more beneficial for the rest of the team. Uh, looking at, obviously, you're going to be one of the ladies up top to try to win a NXN title. Uh, you've been ra racing with, you know, some of the greatest high school girls in history, if I, you know, Aragon and Rainsberger, and now they're graduated. So now there's a little more of a target on your back as being one of the top milers coming in. But how do you kind of take that miler expertise but <laughs> translate it to a, a 5K? Um, yeah, so, I mean, I don't think I'm necessarily a target for cross country because I didn't really have a great race last year at nationals, but um, definitely for track, I think translating to the cross country course, um, it's definitely, um, it's definitely hard with the longer um, intervals, but I think uh, you just have to learn to, you know, adapt to each season as it goes by. And my motto this year is strength is speed because you know, like all this, all the cross country strength will help me in track and help everyone else um, just in that last year. So, and uh, obviously, senior year, you gotta make a decision where you wanna school. Have you taken any visits? And if where are you, where are you planning on visit? Um, yeah, so I'm taking a Villanova official this weekend and then Oregon and then UVA, and those are my three. So, how'd you narrow it down to those three? Um, well, Oregon's been on the top since sophomore year, and um, Villanova is just known. I just know it from all its history. And UVA, it's home state, so so yeah, I got a rep, <laughs> Virginia. So yeah. And I, how do you handle, uh, you know, what, school? Trying to be a top elite athlete, having to deal with traveling and go to colleges and visit, just deal all that pressure of figuring everything out about your future. Um, yeah, it was definitely worse so last year, just because my schedule was uh, more difficult. Uh, and honestly, d towards the end of the year, I was just like so focused on track; it was <laughs> ridiculous. Um, but this year, my schedule is more um, laid back, and I can um, really focus. Um, just on doing all my stuff, you know, focusing more in school and not having to worry about as much as like the long hours of homework. Um, so I'd say the biggest change from last year to this year would be getting more sleep and uh, just being more relaxed in school, not having to uh, just be stressed out all the time. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot.